uh, types of transformer. Before we do the calculations, okay, so I want to show you the types of transformer. So there are two types of transformer. Step up transformer is, is used to increase the potential difference. Huh? It's used to increase voltage. That's why it's called step up. Step up means to increase. Huh? Step up transformer. And then we have step down transformer. This is to reduce the potential difference. Now for step up, step up transformer, the secondary coil, the number of secondary coil, coil must be more than the number of primary coil, right? Okay. Uh, because this is depends on the ratio. Eh? Okay, if you want to increase the voltage, then the number of the secondary coil must be more than the number of primary coil. So, because it's a step up transformer, eh, the voltage of the secondary circuit must be higher than the voltage of the primary circuit, eh? because it's step up transformer, and the number of secondary coil must be more than the number of primary coil. Okay, more coil means more resistance. And then, uh, then how about the current? Okay, current uh, for step up transformer, the currents of the secondary coil will be lower compared to the currents of the primary coil. So the voltage increase, but the currents decrease. Uh. Voltage increase, current decrease. For step down transformer, it's the opposite. Uh, the voltage of the second secondary coil is lower because step down uh, means we, we reduce the voltage. Uh. So the voltage of the secondary coil is lower and therefore the number of uh, windings uh, or number of coils is uh, less than the primary coil but the current increase uh, the current increase so lower voltage higher currents higher voltage lower current uh. so that is the two types of transformer that you need to know and uh, make sure that you really understand this uh, because this uh, may be asked in a test or exam uh. so we have example one I give you the formula Vs over uh, Ns equal to Vp over Np. Transformer is needed to convert a main 240 volt supply to 12 volt. If there are 2000 turns on the primary coil, how many turns should there be on the secondary coil? Okay, so use this formula to find the number of secondary coil. So the answer is 100, huh? 100. Okay. Uh, so first of all, we list down those informations that we have that say um, uh, the supply, okay, the, the, the input is 240 wood and the output is 12 wood. Eh? So the primary voltage 240, uh, secondary voltage 12 wood. Okay. And the number of turns of the primary coil 2000 and we want to find the number of turns of the secondary coil NS. So substitute this three value into the equations and then uh, solve the linear equations, then you should get an answer. NS equal to 100. Sir. So the number of coils of uh, the secondary circuit is 100. Example two, there are 2000 turns in the secondary coil of a transformer and 500 turns in the primary coil. What will be the voltage across the secondary coil if an alternating voltage of 240 volt is applied across the primary coil? Okay. Yes, the answer is uh, 960. 
So I think you should have no problem with the calculations, right? Okay, let's down all the informations that we have and then plug in all these informations into the equations. Example three, a step up transformer has a turns ratios of one to 100. An alternating uh, supplies of 20 volt is connected across the primary coil. So what's the secondary voltage, okay? So the answer is 2000 watt, eh? 2000 watt. So the questions tell us that uh, a step up transformer has a turn ratio 1 to 100. Okay. So this turn ratio is the primary to the secondary coil, NP over NS. Eh? So the ratio NP over NS is 1 to 100. 1 to 100. And then the primary voltage is 20 watt. Eh? So VP20. Okay, something wrong here. Okay, this one should be N, NS, uh, NS, NP over NS. Uh, okay, so we have the formula. Okay, we have formula VS over NS equals to uh, VP over NP, right? This NP multiplied to the left hand side and the VS uh, to the right hand side, then we will have NP over NS equal to VP over VS. Uh, Okay, that's that's how we get this. So uh, after that, we substitute VP to twenty, VP twenty, yeah. But uh, the ratio NP over NS is one to one hundred, eh? one to one hundred. Solve these uh, linear equations, then you get VS equal to two thousand watt. Uh, example four. Eh? So this is a multi-tapped transformer. So a transformer consists of a coils of uh, 3,600 turns. So this one is uh, 3,600 turns. And another coil with a total of 600 turns. Eh? P to T, totally 600 turns. 200, 200, 100, 100. Eh? Totally 600 turns. So this one actually you can be tapped at different various places. Okay, If you, if you tap to a P and R, eh? okay, then the secondary coil is 400. So it depends on where you connect. Eh? If you connect P to R, then you, you will have 400 coil eh? in the secondary circuit. If you connect P to S, then you have 500. If you connect P to T, then you have 600. If you connect Q to S, then you have 300. So, so you, have, you can have 200, 300. So you see you can have 200, 300, or you can have 100 as well, okay? Uh, if you connect R to S or S to T, uh, 100, 200, 300, you can have 400, uh, P to R, you can have 500, uh, P to S, or you can have, you can have uh, 600. So it depends. Huh? It, it depends on what's the voltage that you want, huh? so you can control which point you want to connect. Okay. So which pair of terminals would you connect to a 20 watt, 24 watt lamp for it to be lit? Normally, the input is 240 watt, eh? but the output need to be 20 watt eh? for it to uh, lead normally. Okay, you must connect 20 watt, then only the power is 24 watt, eh? which is uh, the normal uh, power. So, which one you want to connect to get uh, 20 watt? Which one you want to connect? Eh? PQ or QR or RS or QS? Eh? So, do the calculation now.
the number of windings uh, of the secondary coil should, should be 300 300 uh, if you want to get 20 volt uh, it should be 300 and 300 uh, it, it can connect to a QNS okay QNS uh, so the answer is okay QS it's just with the, the voltage already you, you can find the answer already 24 watt is the normal brightness that's all okay okay so this one is not involved in the calculation eh?